Hey guys, welcome back to Healthy Kitchen. How are you? Okay, today we're going to be making a variation of uh, Caribbean breakfast. Basically, super healthy liver with Jamaican yellow yam. Some nice scotch bonnet and pepper. Okra. And some tomatoes, heirloom tomatoes just for a salad. Okay, quick shot here of what we have for our vegetables. A little bit of... Uh, low sodium ketchup some liver make sure the liver is cleaned very very well uh quick close up here of the jerk spice all right guys this is jamaican yellow yam this little spot here we're just going to cut it off basically when you buy this you want to ask the people in the store hey can you cut me a piece just to make sure it's not bad um the piece that you saw there's not bad it's just oxidized so basically, if I cut it off like that, you could see a nice fresh yam underneath. And then basically, you just want to go down the side of it with your knife and remove most of the outer skin. Okay. And as you can see on the inside there, there were some parts that I had to cut out. That's not a big deal. But just keep that in mind if you're not used to working with yams. Okay. It is really, really sticky. And... Um, yeah, just make sure you're aware of that. Quick shot here of my herbs that I'll be using. Some thyme and some basil. Okay, right out of my kitchen garden. Just want to begin to marinate my liver here. Basically what I'm doing here is just getting everything all ready in the same little bowl. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil. That homemade jerk spice. Okay, that we should all be used to by now. You don't have to use jerk spice. You could use allspice if you want. But I, I decided to use my own homemade blend there. I used some crushed chili peppers and some paprika. Some dark mushroom soy. Drizzled that over the top. And what I did here was I just zested half a lemon. Just to give it that extra freshness. And I began to just bring everything together. Just marinating it all. Um, putting it off to the side. Once we uh, had everything thoroughly mixed in. And then moved on to our vegetables here. So we're going to break up our vegetables into two categories. Basically one for the salad and one for cooking. Okay. So we just want to chop up everything. Uh, start off here with the garlic. I had the tomatoes off to the side there. The okra. Uh, the scotch bonnet peppers. The green onions. What I had there on my palette knife was the garlic. Just for size comparison. The ginger and half an onion half a Spanish onion now the tomatoes and the green onions I put off to the side half of it half of what I chopped up I put off to the side just to make a nice fresh salad uh, to go along with our liver and our Jamaican yams so what I did here was I seasoned everything up with some extra virgin olive oil lemon juice scallion cracked black pepper and kosher salt gave that all a quick toss up put it off to the side just so it all comes together in the frying pan here I had some uh, avocado oil that I, I decided to use so I sauteed off the onions ginger garlic and a little bit of the okra be very careful you don't burn your 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 garlic okay and then what I did here was I added my marinated liver into the pan. Beautifully marinated. Okay. Just sauteed everything off here. As you can see on the bottom of the pan here, I had flavor starting to build. Do not, do not burn. But what we're looking for is just to build those nice flavors. Okay. Toss it all around. And just deglaze it with a little bit of uh, water. With the little extra marinade that you had left over. Get all that flavor off the bottom of your pan. It was so delicious smelling. What I did here was I added my low sodium uh, ketchup. And the other half of the tomatoes that I had preserved. I added in my uh, scotch bonnet pepper there as you can see as well. Guys, once it gets to this consistency and it's cooked down. That's when you're ready to plate. That's when your liver is ready. Just make sure you taste and adjust the seasoning in the end to your liking okay 
I basically seared everything off here on medium high. And then I moved on to the plating. I just put the yams on the bottom, the liver right on top, and a little bit of sauce right over the top. Okay, a little drizzle around the sides. What you could also do here is serve it with some dumplings, like some flour dumplings or some green bananas. I just decided to keep it this way. Um, usually in the Caribbean, we um, we eat liver fully cooked, like well done. I know a lot of cultures and a lot of places like to just sear the liver off and cook it medium rare or rare. But we don't. We like to cook it all the way through, give it a nice fresh flavor, um, very sp a lot of spices, um, just not medium rare like some people are used to eating. Yeah, it's just not a part of the culture down there. Uh, guys, give this dish a try. Healthy Kitchen. Thank you for always uh, supporting the channel. And if you're new, please hit the subscribe button, share this video. Tag a friend on this video. Give this recipe a try if you're new to liver. The flavors in here will blow you away. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. Cheers.